Bullies don't always have the prettiest look or the safest feel. That's why the Rapid City Arts Council, business owners, and many different artists are teaming up to change that perception in downtown Rapid City. In tonight's Eye on Kell Land, Sydney Thorson takes us to Art Alley to show you the transformation. The Art Alley began in 2005 when these businesses painted their logos on the buildings so that delivery trucks could tell them apart. Now it's grown to much more than that. Well, any any time you uh, step out to do something um, that um, maybe does have uh, for a long time um, negative connotations, and you're stepping out to um, have it have positive. Connotations. Uh, that's uh, an educational process. Street art consists of graffiti and murals, which you can find in many cities around the world. Some find the idea beautiful, and others not so much. Well, initially I was uh, not really in favor of Art Alley because I was a member of the Historic Preservation Commission here in Rapid City. And I didn't like anybody painting on historic buildings here. Pat Rosland has been a board member for the Rapid City Arts Council for nearly 25 years. When the Arts Council took over the alley, Pat wanted no part in it until recently. A couple months ago, uh, Derek uh, Smith from the Rapid City Arts Council worked with the Rapid City Police Department, youth groups here in Rapid City, and painted uh, the wall down here with a uh, police officer holding an umbrella over a Native American young lady and uh, when it was raining. He saw many people talking, interacting, helping each other to paint this mural. And basically it's community together. I think that kind of states it all. And that's what I like about it right now. It's, it's a gathering place where uh, anybody in Rapid City could come. Muralist Derek Smith has helped to paint some of the murals. It's, it's just a statement, a statement that life continues to flourish, uh, that life is always different that it's never the same and that the pictures on the wall depict just that statement and that there's a lot of energy that goes into each mural, each painting, each project that happens down here. You can usually find people visiting the alley and taking pictures of the murals that are always changing. I feel wholeheartedly when I say that, you know, people walking down here in Art Alley, even their presence in Art Alley adds to it. They don't probably don't see it like that, but I think that it, it does. You know, it adds to it and it gives it, it gives it the life that Art Alley has. So they're an addition to it, even just by walking down here. The, the connections between those that might have been negative, those that might have been positive, and, and this is what has transpired when those people uh, determine that um, we've got something here where we need to work through it to have something, to have something that's good and, and that brings people to downtown Rapid City. And to provide a place where everyone feels welcome. As I get to know what's going on and feeling a part of it, I feel like I'm, I guess to say, more of a part of it, that it, you know, I, I'm not st stuck in one spot that I can meander other places and get to know people who are doing certain type of art that I wouldn't be involved in years ago, but now I am. It's, it's in my heart that it's going to keep being a place where people can continue to come together and build not only their community, but build each other up through the experiences that they share here. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. More projects in Art Alley are in the works. To stay updated on what's happening next, we've added links to their website with this story at kelloland.com.